Today we will talk about pipal endometrial sampling which is a specific gynecological procedure for collecting endometrial sample in certain pathological conditions. The sensitivity of pipal sampling in detecting endometrial cancer is about 68 to 98%. What are the indications of pipal? The indications include first of all irregular vaginal bleeding, heavy menstrual bleeding in patients of more than 45 years of age, postmenopausal bleeding to check efficacy of hormone therapy like tamoxifen to detect endometrial cancer and precancerous conditions prior to surgery, to, de to detect the luteal phase insufficiency as a workup of infertility. Now what are the contraindications of pipal? The contraindications include first of all pregnancy, secondly lower genital tract infections, then PID, carcinoma endometrium or carcinoma cervix and blood dyscariasis. Now what are the complications and pitfalls of pipal sampling? Those include first of all infection, vaginal bleeding or spotting, cramping pain or discomfort, uterine perforation, uterine spasm. Let us discuss the point D on the pipal endosampler. Point D is an indentation in the pipal endosampler located 1 cm from its proximal end preventing piston from totally withdrawn from the sheath. Now what is the mechanism of action of the pipal endosampling? Rapid movement of piston within the sheath from its fully inserted position to its maximum retracted position creates the negative pressure within the sheath which drains mucosal tissue through aperture in the lumen of the sheath. Now let us discuss the procedure of the pipal endosampling. The first step is introduction. So in Tox or Oski station of Ops and Gynae, we will say like this. First of all, I will introduce myself to the patient and take her introduction. And I will make sure that there is legitimate indication for its use. I will prescribe and document in the patient notes the mesoprostol like cytotec 400 microgram 30 minutes before procedure and NSAIDs like ibuprofen 30 minutes prior to the procedure. After ruling out all the contraindications to procedure by taking brief history, I will explain the whole procedure and take informed consent. Then I will ask the patient to empty her bladder and lie on the couch in dorsal position. I will make sure that all the required equipments are present and ready. These are all the equipments which are required for this procedure. After wearing the gloves, I will clean the area. I will perform the bimanual examination to assess the size, position and mobility of the uterus. Then I will introduce the Cusco speculum of appropriate size after lubricating it and fix it to visualize the cervix. Then I will ask my assistant to open the package. I will sound the uterus and fix the flange of pipal according to uterine size. Then I will introduce the pipal up to the mark according to uterine size with a piston at its extreme distal end of the sheath. I will hold the sheath with one hand, pull the piston out gently and smoothly toward the proximal end of the sheath to its maximum to create the negative pressure. I will sample the endometrium by to and fro rotate, rotating movements to sample all the walls. After sampling, I will gently withdraw the pipal and remove the Cusco speculum. Then I will cut the distal end 2 mm away from the aperture. I will empty the contents in the container having formalin and label the specimen. I will send the specimen to lab and schedule follow-up visit with a report. Now how to send the sample? For histopathology, I will save the sample in formalin. For culture and sensitivity of any bacteria, I will send the sample without cutting as such to lab with the instructions. For mycobacterium tuberculosis, I will send it in the normal saline or algae medium. 
Now, what are the other techniques of endometrial sampling? Those include Vobra, Shorman Curet, DNC, Hysteroscopy. So that was a little bit about the pipal endometrial sampling, a very important tox and OSCE station. I would like to complete my presentation with this quote. There are no secrets to success. It is the result of preparation, hard work and learning from failure. So thank you so much. I wish you all the best. Allah Hafiz.